Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing the first impressions of the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette. Um, I have actually used the palette to create my eye look today. Mm. So what are my thoughts about this palette? Number one, I love the exterior. I love that it's um, kind of like a alligator kind of um, pink on the outside. The gold is gorgeous. So let's open up and take a peek. So as far as the mirror goes, the mirror is, whoop, you can see all my little fingerprints. So the mirror is large and I love the detailing around the mirror. And then let's flip it over and talk about the pans. So today what I have wore on these eyes is I did some frosting as a pop of color on or a pop of brightening on the inner eye. I started out with Safe Word all over the lid up to my eyebrow. Then I went in with some Dominatrix, kind of went along the outside and then brought that a little bit in on the crease and took this beautiful color named Swallow and added that all over the lid. So um, I also took a bit of the Dominatrix um, along the lower lash line. I did tight line my waterline and I put a little bit of the Dominatrix on the brush to put on the eyeliner after um, I had done that. So those are the um, four colors I use today to create this look. What I love about this palette is the size. Oh my gosh, you can hand these down to your grandchildren or your grandchildren's grandchildren. I mean, my goodness, Jeffrey just goes above and beyond giving a lot of product. Uh, I love the colors. Um, there's so many different options you can create with this. And what I really like about the fact that um, with this product is he didn't have a really light color for say your brow bone and he didn't have a black. So how many really light colors and blacks do we already have in our arsenal, right? So the, the good side is that he used the different pan selections to give us more color. The bad side to not having a brow bone color or maybe a really dark color is that um, you're, if you travel, you're going to have to take um, another palette or two to give you those other, the blacks or the, high, the eyebrow color. But as far as all these colors go, they're absolutely stunning. So I already have four of them on my eyes, so you can already see those. So we will swatch the others. Um, we have Poison, Military, Fetish, and Androgyny. So you can see those four colors are beautiful. I'm actually kind of liking these for spring. Um, the colors are very pretty, but they're not that in-your-face kind of bright colors that um, are difficult to wear for spring. So very excited about that. All I did was a very light drag. Um, as you can see, I did do a light drag on my hand because the colors are still here on my fingers. Um, I really, really like how well these are pigmented and even trying to just do a rub or a gentle rub, you can see that they still stay on. Um, they blend well. I had no problems with them blending. Um, they do have a little bit of fallout, so just be prepared for that. But most most eyeshadows have a bit of fallout. Um, it's rare that you find one that doesn't have any fallout. So the fallout is controllable. The colors are stunning. And I think this does make a great palette for spring. So let's see. I'm going to... The other two colors that I haven't swatched is Charm and... That's Charm and Deja Vu. And we will swatch those on this hand. So you can see I did go lightly again because I have them both on my finger still, yet they transferred very well. I just love this palette. I mean, there's just so many combinations that you can do with this. So if you haven't purchased it yet and you do like these colors and are not afraid, I would say purchase it. Um, 
I can't wait to create some more looks using either the reds or the orange. Um, I really like this purple color. I can see this quad being very pretty together. So there's just so many different looks that you can create with this palette that um, I'm looking forward to seeing what else I can do. I do hope you enjoyed this video on the Jeffree Star palette and if you have any questions or thoughts please put them below. If you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend and as always you have a choice to make it a beautiful day.